Hello, beautiful souls. It is Andrea with Enlightening Offerings. I am on here today because I want to talk with you about an idea that has been rattling around in my brain for a couple of weeks now. And the, mm, the window that I have to make the greatest impact, I can feel it closing. And if you're familiar with Elizabeth Gilbert's book, Big Magic, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have seen this message in a couple of other areas. The message is needed and it needs to get out there. And um, I have a beautiful audience of people that can hear it. And so the message is to have some grace for yourself right now. We are all human. We are not perfect. We are not computers. We are not programmed like computers. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. And with that, we make mistakes. We always try to do our best, but sometimes our best isn't what it was yesterday or what it will be tomorrow, right? So the whole premise to this is because I make these wonderful videos and you all interact with me and we communicate about yummy topics and learn from each other and I upload my videos to a YouTube page and some of you might be watching on that right now and I two weeks ago for whatever reason just two weeks ago after two and a half years of posting videos to my YouTube page I realized I have been posting to the wrong page. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is an old page for a previous incarnation of uh, ideas that I birthed called Enlightening Events. And for whatever reason, my phone, and I've actually gotten a new phone since then, so the programming in my old phone to my new phone still consistently uploading to the wrong YouTube page. So I have had to download 25 videos and re-upload them to my actual my accurate page and I could have beat myself up for that I could have said oh my gosh and said terrible mean things in my inner monologue or outward to myself and beat myself up for it but instead I realized later I didn't actually do that and I, I really just want to like pat myself on the back and be super grateful for all the work that I've done because previous incarnations of Andrea very easily would have fallen into the trap of self-recrimination and name calling and mean things. But instead I was like, oh my goodness, this is super inconvenient. I cannot believe I've been doing this. Really grateful that I caught on to it eventually, even though it somehow it took two and a half years for me to notice the difference in the, um, the icon, the logo is slightly different. It was my old logo, which has a very similar image, but it's not quite the same as Enlightening Offerings logo. So I'm really grateful that I found it. It was hours and hours of work to download. If I had noticed this two years ago, perhaps YouTube Pro or whatever I had to sign up for in order to be downloading all of my own videos and be able to upload them again, wasn't, wouldn't have been available. You know, if I, I might have just given up deleted it, and never had those videos available on my current accurate page. So divine timing, everything happens exactly as it's meant to, and I was able to sit in grace with myself. And then I wanted to do this video and remind you, we're human, we mess up, we make mistakes, we're not perfect. Even computers that I compared us to earlier are not perfect. How often does the technology just not work like it's supposed to, right? So my reminder for you today, I wanted to do the video a week ago, and then I got sick. I got it. Allergies kicked me, kicked my patootie out of nowhere, and then it turned into like a sinus head cold thing. It has been days, right? And then I start seeing the message that I was told to share 
from other people. We're human. Show people that you make mistakes. It's okay. The more that we can be open with the fact that I cost myself three days where I should have or could have been creating content for upcoming classes that I that I really feel called to, to offer. Because I had made a mistake two and a half years ago, logged into the wrong YouTube account for whatever reason, and I've just been sending them off into the wrong place. So, always do your best, right? Today, my best is no makeup, my hair in a messy bun. I, I grabbed some rose quartz, a big chunk, a little chunk, you know, keep it where it can touch my skin just because of unconditional self-love being needed, right? I, I, I feel the need for some unconditional self-love today. And I hope that you can offer yourself unconditional self-love, that you can offer yourself grace and understanding and forgiveness and honoring all of the steps that we make, whether they turn out to be good or bad. I don't believe that there is a perfect ideal path for anyone. I think that we make choices and those choices take us down different paths that we're all ultimately working towards our sole purpose. And there's no right or wrong way to get there. There's easier <laughs> and more stumbling blocks <laughs> for sure. Those are two paths, right? So when we're in the flow, when we are connected to our higher self, and listening for those nudges, we're making the, the not correct, we're making the, the steps that will take us in a softer journey. Right? I don't necessarily think life has to be hard. Sometimes we make choices that make it harder today than yesterday was, or harder tomorrow for us than two weeks from now will be. So just have some grace with yourself. Breathe. Get a cup of tea. Have you had any water today? Sometimes, you know, the four agreements, they always do your best. Sometimes my best is just putting my feet on the ground for the day, brushing my teeth, you know, making sure my kids get to school. That's sometimes my best. Other days, I am a wildfire through here, cleaning the whole house, putting out content on, you know, for all of you and creating amazing offerings and classes and, and you know, being there for my husband in the capacities that I can be of support to him. And other days I don't have that. I don't have that bandwidth. So, and that's okay. That's literally my point. Have some grace for yourself. Be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself. Put your own air mask on before helping others. I think that's it my friends I hope you have a lovely day spring is coming that's exciting it was a beautiful day yesterday today it's a bit gloomy but you know as with life sometimes things are brighter sometimes they're a little gloomy so yes blessings to you all <laughs>